Welcome back, everyone. I cannot ignore it anymore. I get so many comments about this. Everyone, everyone is telling telling me that I need to go look at Blue Willow. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the game. I know people have reviewed this. I just wanted to kind of, you know, clear the water. And, I, you know, I, I played with it before. I wanted to just do a deeper dive and just give you guys a feel of what it's like coming from a mid-journey power user to Blue Willow and, you know, checking out all the, the bells and whistles that it has and see how it's, uh, you know, lining up with, with, with mid-journey. Is it a mid-journey killer? All right, I try to give us a real fair look at it. Let's take a look. All right, so the biggest incentive we have with using Blue Willow is that it is free and um, that's huge. It, it takes a lot of barriers out when we have a free option. So let's get into the details here. We, uh, since we're coming from mid journey, we should all be familiar with the discord interface and how that works. And again, I'm comparing this to mid journey. So that's where I come from. That's the lens I'm looking through when, when I'm making decisions about Blue Willow. I'm not out here to make anyone mad. It's all about making things better. So this is a comparison. First thing, it's free, and that that beats uh, Mid Journey right there. Mid Journey a little costly, you know. My monthly bill comes in every year, every month, and you all right. I'm paying for that. The next thing to know is, you know, your user experience in here, and if you have a Mid Journey paid account, you have direct access to mid-journey bot communicating within your own server so it's very easy to go through and see all your photos the way you would like to in real time and uh, it's a little different here in in blue willow what we have to do is we we go to these uh rookie servers or groups i don't know what they're called and uh, that's where we execute our imagine prompts and the way we kind of search our images is we create images within this this i'm using rookie 25 and then to kind of keep track of your images you're going to go up click on that and this will bring up your mentions and and your renders so you can kind of sort through what you've rendered even though you're going to see all this nonsense happening in in the in the rook, rookie server you know you can uh kind of get a good grasp of of uh what your images are and then click on them and it'll load up. The next uh, thing that I want to talk about is the commands in, in Blue Willow are short and sweet. There's dash dash AR for aspect ratio, but we're only given three aspect ratios. We can have square, which is one by one, a two by three or a three by two. That kind of kills it for me. I mean, you guys know how I, I like to be able to work in my native 16 by 9. Obviously, you know, Mid Journey has a plethora, you know, they've really opened aspect ratios. So this feels very limiting to me. Other commands are dash dash no for your negative prompt and dash dash v for what version you want to use. Right now, there's only two versions, which you're by default in version two, uh, but you can roll back to version one. Here are uh, renders that I I went through uh, with Blue, Blue Willow and my goal was to give this a fair shake and develop the prompt the way I would develop the prompt in mid journey. So I spent a lot of time building it out, you know, starting with something basic and, and slowly moving through and, you know, instantly I, I forgot to put in my AR, but you know, I, I, I build that out as we go and, and the prompt, I'll pull the final prompt and, and put it up here so we can, can we see, but as you notice, you know, the first thing I noticed right out of the gate and again, I'm doing this as a comparison is, you know, the, the noise patterns in these finite details looks very computer generated to me. And this is something mid journey suffered with in version four, you know, leaves in, in foliage and, and bubbles like this and coffee. I am not sure what was, was creating it. It just looked fake. It, it just had this this very digitized look to it. That's that was kind of the first thing that struck me. But again, that that's right out of the gate. You can look at some of the. I mean, we we start to get this 
these weird coffee cups. Coffee cups are difficult. That's why I chose a, a cup of coffee because there's symmetry in it. There's balance. There's rules. Sometimes you're getting some nice ones in here. It did know what a Chemex was. I, I said to uh, put that in, but you know, we get some nice stuff. It's good. I'm, I mean, it's, it's great. The, the, the stuff does look good, but I'm comparing this to modern mid journey version five, which we're onto a new version five now. And you know, you know, the coherency of the image and how quickly I can get to an image. This is that, that weird patterning. It's, it's almost too uniform, but you get the idea of it. The cup's nice. It's got the handles nice. Uh, it's a single handle, but the, ah, I like what they're doing here and it's free, which is really great. It's just, can you say this is a mid journey killer? Not yet. <laughs> it's not yet. But I mean, you can get some very beautiful stuff, but, but then you get these errors where it's like the steam is missing the cup. Knows there should be steam, but the steam, like the consistency and, you know, I could buy this one, but, but now it's built the Chemex into the cup. You know, this is great. This is fantastic. It's just, it, it's not top of the line. It's not kicking mid journeys, butt. I like it though. I like the idea of it. I love that it's there's a free version out there and people are doing this. This was one of my favorite images that I rendered out of out of Blue Willow. Has a couple issues. It I touch up my mid-journey work too. You know, it it loses uh context of of the saucer here. Um the cup looks pretty good. It's a little warped and I think it gets mixed up in in the um reflection on the cup and the the saucer cuz they're both white. Um, has a hard time with the consistency of the curve around, around the lip of the cup. You know, we can always say it's a handmade ceramic cup. The steam looks good. The volumetric, you know, I w was adding a very specific camera, like a camera F1.2, a specific lens to get this look. We have this, this rogue steam puff out here. Again, that's consistency, coherency in, in, in the image. Another great one here. I mean, it is really, it's, but there's patterning, like the patterning in this, this ground coffee, it, it's too uniform. And in the foam up here, steam looks great, but yeah, it's, it's not a mid journey killer. It's great though. You should definitely use it. It's the, it, I don't know how to balance that. What I would say is this is, this is mid journey two months ago and as we know in the AI art generators or AI in general, two months is an eternity. So, so it is, it's a little bit be behind. I can't wait to see what they do next. Their new models, uh, they seem to be on top of it. You know, they, they probably don't have the resources that, that mid journey has now that mid journey has like this big financial backing, but we, you know, it's going to be exciting when, when they get access to, to new models and, and, uh, you know, take the next step. And that next step could could close the gap on mid journey and you know i'd love to see that i'd love to see these free options pressing the big guys you know putting pressure on them and that makes them have to develop more one of the other things uh when you're working inside of blue willow is and correct me if i'm wrong i couldn't find documentation on this but um you're allowed three concurrent jobs and there's no queue behind that I can't remember how much I, how much you can have, you can have a lot queued in, in your paid version on, on mid journey. So that's, that was, um, a difference. It's fine though. I mean, I, I think the, the, the tough part for me is, is working in these, these rookie groups. If I'm trying to really flesh out an idea, the render is quick. It is a quick render, the upscaler very fast, very fast. So. I think that they must be rendering at full resolution. And then when you hit upscale, it just reproduces what it already has rendered out. I think, I don't know, but having been involved in, in, uh, AI art generators for a while now, every once in a while, there used to be a time where you could upscale and get a completely different image than what you were working with. That's not happening with the uh, Blue Willow. They have a very consistent upscaler. So the image you see is going to be the image you get. It doesn't clean up or, or refine the image in any way. You don't get anything worse, but you don't get anything better. I didn't see a command for info. Uh, that's another thing I use a lot in mid journey. 
to see how many, you know, sometimes I forget how many jobs I have out there and I want to slow myself down. I'm delving into this from a photorealistic application. I'm not delving into it or I haven't tried, you know, uh, vector art or, or, or painterly or anything like that. Um, I, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it in the, in the wrong place. Maybe that's not its strength. Uh, the photorealism. It does really well though. I, I am thoroughly impressed by it. I'm just not saying it's a, it's a mid journey killer. I'm going to keep using it. I'd like you guys to keep using it because the more they use it, we use it, it develops, the more it develops and, uh, the more input, the better the results. So good job, Blue Willow. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, my look at Blue Willow. Is it a mid-journey killer? No. Is it right on the tail of uh, mid-journey? Yes. And I think we should all be out there using it. The more we use it, the better it's going to get. The better it gets, the more it pushes mid-journey. Can we have two favorite applications? Absolutely. So get out there, use it, log in, check it out, be involved in the community. Um, speaking of community, if you could do me a favor and like and subscribe to this uh channel like the video subscribe to the channel comment below i get a lot of comments i'm i'm really liking those i i, I really try to give you guys uh thought pro provoking responses also um you know not just a, a lit emoji although you might get a lit emoji i'm just saying i really try to uh you know put put some time in into that you guys take time to watch the videos and come up with good questions i want to put in my time and uh you know, respectfully answer. And, uh, you know, speaking of which I even, I, I've been getting, um, a couple of comments from anti AI art community. And, um, you know, I even take my time and, and try unless they're per being real personal and, and rude. I take my time and, um, you know, address their real concerns as, as best I can. Um, because in the end, we're all going to be working together. Um, but again, thank you again, like subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.